We are back with some more Minecraft. Welcome everybody to episode 456. Sorry about that intro. I mean, sometimes things happen in the lab without your knowledge. It happens from time to time. I just have to improve our security. Today we're tackling a new mine. So we have the diamond mine in this world. Where am I? I'm here. I actually got lost there for a second <laughs> while I was talking. But as I'm saying, this is the diamond mine. This is the most OG mine in my world. And yes, I could expand this mine, and we probably will in the future, down to the deep slate. But, currently, we have an area out by the lab that has huge iron ore veins. And today, we're going to build a realistic mine around it all. So I'm going to gather some supplies, and I'll meet you out there. I have a lot of named tools in here. I bet a lot of these are on the verge of being retired. I should probably start using some of these diamond tools. Hey, Slime Silky. That's an old pick. What? David is in here. That's an old one, too. All right, how expensive are you, trusty axe? A what? Dang it. It's not what I wanted to see. Trusty axe, you've done me well. I'm already almost out of space on this. That is ridiculous. We're going to have to expand this. You can now be retired. Live your life on the wall of retired tools. That makes one, two, three tools that are netherite finally retired. I just want to work on my mind. I have I have no axes. I mean, I have unenchanted axes in here. I even have my first netherite, but that's not enchanted. I need efficiency. <gasps> Tree feller. I swear, if you're retired too. 33. God damn. One day they'll fix it where we can see our XP orbs and it wouldn't go in every corner of the room. <laughs> that's where he is. He always gets stuck up here. All I need is efficiency, and I'll be a happy slime. Sharpness. I, I got sharpness. All I need is efficiency in one of these barrels, and I'll be a happy slime. Just a bunch of efficiency ones. I'm not a happy slime. Round two. If, yes. Okay. It's like, fine, I'll give it to you, but I'm taking away everything else. Gosh dang it. Things grow up too fast in this game. They need to slow it down. Like, you were literally born yesterday, and you're a full-grown dog now. <laughs> okay, I have almost everything I need. I got some potion setups for night vision. All I need is a lot of wood now. And where is this place we're building at, you ask? None other than this island that we had no idea what to do with. Eventually, I was going to turn it into Observatory Island, where we're going to build something like that with a giant scope on it, S similar to what we did last episode. But... That pillar we came up is right there, and I actually already dug down in a spot, which is right here. I almost died. Well, I can't really... Huh. Can't jump down that, but what I'm going to do is build a big mine right here, and this is just going to be a mining island. Okay, so I've been lighting this place up a lot, because, well, not <laughs> when you're working down here, not mining... Night vision potions tend to not last as long. I still need to set up my potion stand here, but uh, I got it lit up enough to where at some point we can work down here without needing potions. So as of right now, I'm building these little lifts, even though I will most likely have my elytra rings and rockets down here all the time. I like the look of these because, well, it's just like mining scaffolding. And the more I dig, the more iron deposits I find. This place is just loaded. And I got another one up here. I'm just going to fly up to this one. And this leads over here, which is where it's right below that island. We came out right here. So we'll probably make a giant... This is a deep hole, though. Probably build a beacon here and make a quarry mine down right there. But I don't want to do that right now. So I just want to get it all set up down here, meaning tracks and whatnot. Luckily, this place is full of iron, so we can get tracks from that. And again, these tracks are really not going to have a purpose. This is all for show. This is, I mean, most things in Minecraft are all for show, but this is definitely all for show. I'm going to build all of this, and then we're going to start mining. It's still very dark in some places. Okay, so, got a little bit of a track going on here. I don't think this will be used. I really don't. I was making it at first, thinking, okay, I could probably use this, but it leads nowhere. I think I want it to drop down here, though, and maybe go over this way, because there are some iron deposits down here as well. Oh, yeah. Like, right back there. You can see all of it dotted in that wall. Honestly, I'm, I'm like, stuck right now. I don't know what else to build, because, uh, hmm. <laughs> maybe a crane. No. 
maybe no well I believe I'm ready to start some mining I'm just gonna pick a random spot I've been working in torches in here for wow it does look so much different working in here with torches for so long and then doing that it's just why wasn't I working like this oh well I just made another lift right here that's for a mine cart found some diamonds there don't have to mine them up you can use it oh, I forgot I had a geode up there oh should probably make some sort of scaffolding to get up there. That's probably all fully grown to how long I've been here. <laughs> get it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we got a little hub right there, and then I found even more right there. So I got some scaffolding around that. Yeah, I'm going to pick this. I'm going to mine this all out and see how much I get. My toolbox, and I don't have flint and steel in it. Oh, looky there, and the emergency box came in handy. I've mined a lot over here so far, as you can tell. No, nope, that's not it. That's all I got from this one so far. And there's still more in there, but I'm going to blow up this wall a bit because it's all like termite holes in here now. I want to open it up a bit. Ugh. I forgot, this is more blast resistant, isn't it? I didn't even think of that. Yeah, what the heck? When in this game are we going to get explosive arrows? Doesn't that seem like something that should be in Minecraft? I mean, all you do is craft an arrow but put TNT on it. I feel like that should be something that's in the game, but it clearly isn't. I broke out to here. That's insane. Well, look at this. I'm kind of, I was starting to just cut it all out, like all the blocks around it to show you how much is actually, <laughs> look at that. What on earth? Oh my gosh. And I came from, oh gosh. Yeah, I came from all the way up here. I just had this, I guess I call them like termite tunnels because that's what it feels like I'm digging. I went all the way through here. How much do I have on me? Almost four stacks. Oh man, it just keeps going up. So all in all, they all do connect throughout this whole thing. But look at this bundle. This is insane right here. Look, there's one, two, three, four of those big ones. There's nine in each of those. Okay, I'm, I'm getting carried away. I just need to mine it. It goes all the way up through there, too. <laughs> oh, man, this is a lot. Luckily, I brought everything needed for these potions. Otherwise, I would have probably been screwed. So I made my classic potion set up here. I don't know why I like, I built this in my hardcore series, even up in my, by my new storage room and here. It's just a, I don't know why I like the look of it. I don't have any item frames, otherwise I put potions up in some areas. It's just fun. All right, this is what we're at so far. And this is just that one vein that started down here, right? We started mining in there and then it popped out down here. I'm just trying to give you guys perspective here. Yeah, I'm gonna continue it. Oh lord. Boy, oh boy. Man, I've mined so much. I think I'm gonna stop here though. I thought I actually got it all because it started coming up in here and then I looked around over there and it looked like I mined it all, but then I noticed up here we have some more. I don't know how big this is. Put that scaffolding there because it's kind of in this area too. Could be all behind this, but I'm gonna come back here at a later date to mine that. How much did we end up getting here? Quite a bit. I have a lot in block form. That's plenty of iron. That's all the iron we didn't have, so any iron is good iron to me. Well, we'll return here at another day. I'll see about bringing villagers down here since we're close to the lab. But it is underground. It would be hard to protect them. I guess I'll leave these potions here for now. All right. Well, time to go smelt all this down. Is this thing full? I don't remember having... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, there's a lot of coal in here. Perfect. Nice. All of that that I mined could make us well over a full beacon. Oh, looks like we could observe Jupiter tonight. If you didn't catch last episode, by the way, we built an observatory. <laughs> Perfect. Where is it? Do what? Do I have any beacons left? I have to, right? I really need one, and I don't 
Okay, yeah, I know for a fact I have like two. Oh, uh, 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 dang it. Where is it? Should be right here. I didn't even know I had this whole beacon built. That's where a lot of my gold went. So I have three beacons over at the lab, which is part of the security door, but we don't use those. Dang it. I, I built some a beacon somewhere or something and placed the other one down. I know I have like two other beacons. I don't know where I put them. This is crappy. I used to keep one in my office here. Yeah, but it's not here anymore. Well, I'm looking for these. I'll go ahead and answer today's comment questions. Got a couple of them. One from Bef Befirm Jr. <laughs> Is there anything different you would do with your house? Like a different color or anything? Now that you say this, I actually thought about this not too long ago. And I feel like I should have built my new storage room up here out of light green terracotta. Because with it being surrounded by all of this darker wood, it makes the green terracotta look darker. And I might still do it. I could actually. Because this is light green right there. It's barely a difference. But... I also know what you mean. I feel like I should start trying to find a way to implement different colors in. Well, no, see, we're starting to mess with color now. We got copper, but it definitely would not be a bad idea trying to make or add different colors into my house <laughs> because it's just all green. Everything's green. Even I'm green. Now, where is this beacon? Don't have it over here. Okay, I'm actually very concerned now. Where are these at? Oh, I'm building, but whoa, I have a lot of building stuff over here. Um, aha. Okay, I could have swore I would have. I actually lost them. Might have to fight some withers soon. The other question came from Senior or Sir Wasik. What is your favorite type of music? Love the videos. Hugs from Peru. Jasper, give me the stuff. Just throw it over. Throw it over. My favorite band of all time is called The Neighborhood. Um, I really suggest checking them out. But I have all kinds of favorite music I listen to. Actually, one song that I can't stop listening to, and it's actually in my top, I think even five most listened songs. I also like Gary Clark Jr. He's really good. But just a song called Touch by Mother. But the E in Mother is actually an X. And the lead singer of this group is actually Penn Badgley, and he's from the Netflix series You. I was kind of surprised. I was listening to this song way before I knew that, and I was surprised to see that he was actually the one singing it. Well, we do have Wither Skulls. I guess we'll have to fight one soon. Where did I? I don't know where I put those things at. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. It was somewhat of a short episode, but it was much needed. We need to get some freaking iron in our supply here. I'll see you in the next episode, though. Take care. Bye-bye.